Okay, folks, listen, I'm trying to build up my playlist, right? Listen, the playlist is called Budget Friendly Meals. Now, do I have a doozy for you this time? Listen, just because it's easy and they're not a whole lot of ingredients, I don't want you guys to think it lacks luster in any other taste. Guess what, folks? We're doing a five ingredient baked chicken and we're doing it in the crock pot. Let's get it. Okay, folks, now look, you guys can see right here, these are my ingredients. This right here is for garnish, right? This is real simple. Like I said, already stated, that we're gonna be doing it in the crock pot, right? So I want you guys to come in here and take a look at how I'm gonna do this. Now, I've already washed and cleaned my chicken, patted it dry, here it is right here, right? So the main thing you wanna pay attention to is, listen, if you got a crock pot, you know what I mean? You wanna get yourself some non-stick spray. I like to spray my bottom and my sides, right? Now I'm gonna take, look, it's really like the placement, right? So we take it and we just gonna like, I guess the word would be like stagger it maybe. You know, like this, right? And if you got a bigger crock pot, that's the more that you can put in there. You know, more drums. Now you don't have to do it with drums. You can do this with, you know, thighs, the whole shebang, right? But I'm gonna try to get it in here like this. You know what I mean? Like that. And we'll try to get this one over here like this. And this would be the placement that we want to have. Again, let me get it over here so you guys can see it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust this with just a little bit of fresh black cracked pepper. Now, this is where you can level up and do anything that you want to do on your own. Don't forget, it really doesn't have to be done. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to show you guys, you don't always have to add nothing. But look, I'm looking for a unique flavor and I love the way that you know, fresh black cracked pepper, you know, taste, right? So then I'm finna dust it with my A. Don't forget, this is great with poultry too. Poultry, fish, veggies. You guys gotta have some of this. A lot of you guys got it. So I just put a little bit over here like that. Don't have to be on the bottom, don't worry. Cause as it get hot, it's gonna, you know, slide down to the bottom, mix with our sauce. This is gonna be fire. You serve this over rice and there you have it. Now, all right, so we're gonna start with, I'm gonna just start adding my honey. Right? Now don't forget, this ingredient list, along with the other recipes that I do, now all of them are printable. It's on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. Once you get all your ingredients in here, right, we can come with a little bit of this ketchup. Then we come with our soy, our soy sauce, right? You guys look, I love to use this version right here. This is a little bit on the left side of our sodium. Anywhere I can cut my sodium, I do it. All right, so then I just take my whisk, and just work it all together, right? Be careful, you know, you don't wanna do it so fast that your soy, you know, comes out, right? But you'll see, look at that right there. Mm. Now that I have it all, you know, mixed up, now I'm getting ready to mince my garlic. Put a smile on my face, folks. So we take it, mm, look at that, you can hear it. But look, I hope you guys are being able to catch that. Then I take the back of my knife, I know a couple of people told me they were doing it and they were using the front of their knife. You know what I mean? Now listen, we just gotta be smart. You don't wanna like dull your blade, right? Just use the back, it doesn't harm it, right? And once you get it all mixed up, all we are gonna do is pour it on the top. Now, once you got it fully coated, right? We sprayed it. It makes it easier for the, you know, for our sauce to like spread around and it ensures that nothing sticks, right? Now, only thing you should have left, and that's your green onion, because we're going to use that for a little bit of the garnish and then sesame seeds. One of the things I like about this recipe is I'm willing to bet like eight out of 10 times, you guys have everything minus the chicken. You probably have that too. You know what I mean? Because we all keep chicken, you know, froze. So if you got a little pre-thought, you know what I mean? You could just make this. This will feed a lot of people. All you gotta do is have some rice and maybe a side of broccoli. Now you can invite me to dinner. Now, okay, so we're gonna do it on high, right? So if we do it on high, we're gonna do it for four hours. Usually on low, I go about six, six hours, right? So power's on, hit high. We move this up to four hours and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, folks, look, my timer went off and the type of uh, crock pot that I have or slow cooker, listen, anytime my timer goes off, it automatically kicks down to what they call a warm, right? So it'll keep everything nice and hot. So these are great things that you can start like in the morning, you know what I mean, on your way to work, 
And then uh, when it's done, it'll stay warm. So when you come in, all you gotta do is make your rice. Or if you got one of them good uh, rice cookers, you can just set it on a timer. You come in and food is ready. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that right there. That right there, that's that money, folks. Let me get me some tongs. I wanna show you something. You tell me. Look, look at that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do this. Let's just put that in there, just like that on this bed of rice. Let me grab another one, and that's enough right there. Now, if you've been following me for a minute, you guys got to know my favorite veggie in the world is what? That's right, I love that broccoli. I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Most people, when they eating at the table, their parents tell them, hey, don't drink that drink. Don't eat the sweets and don't do all that until you eat that certain thing. My mother would tell me don't eat that, none of my veggies because I love veggies and especially that broccoli. Now, with that being said, you see this, let me go ahead and get this cleaned up. Let me try to get a thumbnail out of this and then I'll be right back. Okay, folks, look, I done finished taking pictures of uh, this sexy chicken legs. You know what I mean? I done hit it with a little bit of this uh, sesame seed on the top just to give it a little bit of garnish. I don't know about y'all, but look, if my food look good, it tastes even better. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just get me a little bit. Oh my, look, why did I even get a knife, right? So if you really wanna know how soft it is, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Then I want you guys to come in there and take a look at that. That right there is fire. Now, if I really wanna show you something, Come on in here and let's get personal with it. You see that right there? We can just hit it with a little bit of this. You know, and get a little bit of this on the rice. You guys can do whatever you want to do. Now, here's a little pro tip. If you guys want to take this and turn it into a gravy, all we got to do is strain it, put it in a pot, add some heat to it. Once it comes up to a boil, we hit it with a little bit of uh, cornstarch. We're going to make a slurry, slurry. So we're going to do equal parts. You can know, for something like this, I probably would just do one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch and then uh, one tablespoon of cold water and then let it thicken up like that gravy. Now, so that I don't continue to over talk, check this out, folks. You see that right there? Mm, I don't know what to do. Whew. Cheers, y'all. Now, check it out. I really didn't even eat enough to be wiping my mouth, but I can tell you this, my mouth is salivating though. You know what I mean? So look, this is what I'm finna do. You guys let me know down in the comment section below, what would you do? What type of veggie would you serve this with? And don't forget, this is a budget friendly meal, right? So let me just go ahead and pour myself a glass of this grape Kool-Aid. Yes, sir. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. I'm out. Peace.